I do like some aspect of it. <laughs> I mean, I'm because I've been here for a long time, so my culture definitely get, you know, diverse as I um, in, interact and emerge into American culture as well. Um, I like the the family aspect and all the traditions and um, of my culture because you know you you could always count on them being there for you and uh, it's always like you know the big family thing celebrating new year celebrating you know moon festival and stuff like that i really like that of that aspect and and then there's definitely um de definitely when you go back there you know there's a, a very strong sense of uh society involvement in everything that you do. So I like that, um, but only to a certain limitation and after a while I need my privacy and then I go back to America. Well, I was there until I was like 16 and most of my life was focusing on school. So I didn't really, you know, experience that a lot, but over there, you know, it's, especially for a girl, it could be more difficult. Oh, you know, when you go to school, you can't dye your hair, you can't paint your nails, you can't wear makeup. Um, now it's a little more, a little bit more relaxed. But back then, you know, you know, everyone is so concerned with the image of a bad girl. So even though like, here's like, you know, it's not really that bad. But in getting tattoo, no, no. Now it's different. But that, that was back then when I, you know, and then boom, I went over here and then I went to high school and everyone going to school with a full face of makeup. And I was like, oh, and over there, I have to wear uniform. All the public schools, we have to wear uniform. And uh, here, people should wear pajama to school. You probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> when I moved to I went like I was I finished my 10th grade in Vietnam I moved here for to be a junior in high school it was difficult I would no jokes um, for the first six months language was the greatest barrier right like, I remember my first day coming to class and I don't really it was a computer class I have no idea what a teacher was saying and I really I just want to cry, but I was like, okay, it's fine, it's going to be over, the pier is only an hour, I'm just going to sit here and play with a computer. You know, and then, um, you know, but I would say, keep an open mind. I, I, I told, my English was nowhere near this level when I first got here, but I told every of my friend, especially my high school friend, like, correct me, otherwise I, I can't. Um, I, I won't be able to hear because you know your ear kind of deceive you when when you listen to yourself you actually listen to your voice and then your voice from within so it's very different when you learn the language um, and then so I and I I, I determined to get over my language barrier because I see that it can make life a lot more difficult when people don't understand me um, so and now I practice my English and and yeah, and, and I just say to, to keep an open mind. There's a period of time when all my friends was like, Emmy, why do you hang out with all the weird kids? And I was like, I don't, I thought that's how Americans are like. <laughs> you know, I, I have no, oh, okay, you're weird. I was like, okay, maybe that's how they are. You know, and I just, but, and then eventually just, um, I, I talk with, you know, some of our teenagers who have a hard time, you know, adapting and stuff like that. And I was like, don't, don't worry too much about what other people say or how, because you're going to change, you're going to improve and you're going to evolve. So if, and don't judge people too fast, you know, based on their reaction, because maybe they just don't really, uh, understand you and even if they still mean to you afterward whatever you can find out a friend so that's pretty much my attitude 
be yourself as in and don't be afraid of things that are difficult you're more capable than you thought you can get a lot of things that you want with hard work so give it a try um, be persistent and put some work into it and you're probably going to get some good result. So yeah. have you learned that advice from like friends or have you No, just I've experienced this myself. I experienced it myself. Um, like I said, I, I never thought I, w I would be able to speak English like this. But your brain is an amazing thing. Um, don't, don't undermine it. Live it to the full potential. But it's, like I said, like people say a lot like, oh, you know, dream hard. No, don't dream hard, work hard. Mm -hmm. You can have your dream, but work real hard and you'll get somewhere, you know. And then you'll see that, that you're going to find opportunities to make things happen. But you have to work hard. Hi, my name is Kaya Shane. Hello, my name is Carlos Picasso. Hi, my, my name is Anuja Deve. Hi, my name is Estrella Zarate.